He's a vegan chef, cookbook author, and transitioned to a plant-centric diet after his own weight topped out, believe it or not, at 310 pounds. It really is an incredible story. Eddie Garza is here to tell us all about how we can all eat healthy but not lose our favorite Mexican flavors. Hi, hey, Eddie. Eddie. How Good you doing? You. Doing great. Thanks for having me. Your transformation, and we will put the photo up, is incredible. Um, you did that solely on a plant-based diet. Yeah, it's, it's pretty interesting because back then I didn't really know what I was eating. A lot of people don't really know what they're eating still to date. Mm -hmm. And thankfully one friend of mine was like, you need to eat healthier, you're gonna die. So that weekend we went to a program where I learned that all the things that I were eating, or all the things that we were eating were the worst things you could eat. Like, like what? Triple cheeseburgers, what? meat lovers pizzas. I mean, Because I would... they're delicious, Eddie, let's just be fair. <laughs> well, sure, sure. <laughs> but you know, as, as many people know, like sure, something could be great and delicious in the moment, but in reality, it's not gonna serve you, your body or your mind even. Mm -hmm. But you know, when you, when you get start, when you start to get that, that large, you just tend to eat more and more of the bad stuff because your body's craving it. And you just, sure. like, you never feel satisfied or satiated. Yeah. So you decided that a, a shift was gonna happen inside your head. Yeah, you know, and it wasn't something that I had planned. I went to this program thinking, what, what's gonna happen? I'm just gonna go here because I'm a little bit embarrassed to tell this girl, no, I'm not gonna go and try to lose a weight with you. <laughs> yeah. uh, I had to do it. And it was remarkable because when you're that big, you can lose weight really fast. Yeah. Sure. So within 12, weeks of doing this program, I had already lost a lot of weight. Uh -huh. And for me, I said, well, if I do this for, say, 12 more weeks, what's going to happen? And then all of a sudden, I ended up transitioning to a plant-centric diet. So I wasn't vegan yet. I was more like plant-forward or plant-powered. I don't understand but... what any of those terms <laughs> mean. So tell me, what does that mean? Because so... a lot of, because here's the thing, is plant-based, vegan, very trendy right now. All yeah. the celebrities are on these types of diets. Everybody's talking about it, but I don't really know what it means. Well, it's pretty simple. It's thinking about plant-centric as the center of your plate being all plants. And plant-powered is somebody like me who I use that as a form of getting energy. So I start with garbanzo beans every morning because they've got the perfect amount of carbs, uh, protein, and the, the, the kind of fat that you need. Mm -hmm. So things like that, I feel like plant-powered is awesome. I mean, you think about how much power you can get from plants, mm -hmm. like all the legumes. The thing that's changed now, of course, and, and all this talk about the, the new plant-based meat that's, that's out there, the Impossible Burgers and all that, that for those of us who crave that, they've figured out a way to make things that are plant-based that taste like it. Um, my, my wife tricked me into going to a restaurant, Crossroads, in, in, in over there on Melrose, off Melrose, and everything was plant-based, everything was vegan. I didn't know. And I ate it up and it all tasted great. How'd you like the chicken? Loved it. How'd you like the, this? How'd, and it was all plant-based. Yeah. So it, we're, we're learning how to do that as chefs, right? Yeah, in fact, there are so many different companies now companies that normally would make meat, like right. you know the largest companies in the world, like Tyson. Mm -hmm. So we're talking about these companies going toward this plant-based way because of companies like Beyond Meat, like Impossible, who really started that trend, right. that huge yeah. trend. So What are the benefits? Okay, so like everybody, I, I swear, I hear like Kim Kardashian's on a plant-based <laughs> diet now, so I'm hearing about it more and more, but I, I still don't understand. Because, I mean, don't we need protein? like? the chickens and the meat, don't we need that in our system? But we also need fiber, and that's something you're not gonna get from meat. You're gonna get all the protein you need by eating plant-based, eating, like I said, garbanzos, lentils, big legumes, like, um, you know, any of those, mm -hmm. but also quinoa, which is a super, super grain that has a lot of, it's actually a seed, so it's got a lot of protein, but you're gonna get plenty of protein, but you're not gonna get enough protein when you're on, di on diets that are like very high in meat. Mm -hmm. So you're a chef and you're kind of a chemist, you're kind of experimenting with things. Tell me how that works in your brain, how you, how you make these things taste the way they do. Well, you'll probably understand this. So I grew up in a Mexican household, so yeah. we depended so much on flavors, so much on spices, and that's something that in my kitchen you're still gonna get. It's gonna be all the same flavors that you would expect from Mexican food, but instead of using meat, which traditionally wasn't something that was eaten on a daily basis yeah. in the original Mexican kitchen. Mm -hmm. So it's using plant-based proteins and apply all the same flavors, and you're gonna end up with delicious Mexican food. Okay, your family, how do they feel about veganism? Like you being vegan? Yeah, well. And are they into it now? <laughs> I mean, are we still talking what, you know, the traditional Mexican food at your house? It's pretty amazing how uh, my transition 
convince my brother to move in this direction as well. Really? My family is largely plant-based because of that. Wow. Everybody sees the health benefits. They see their skin improving. They see so many different things like they just feel just higher energy in general. Hmm. And of course, they love the flavors that I bring in the kitchen. So whenever I go visit them, they're happy to take a break from the kitchen and I'll take care of them. All right. Okay. So speaking of the kitchen, you are going to cook a plant-based meal for us. What is it? Well, today I've got something really special. It's a mac and cheese. It's a bacon mac and cheese, but instead of pork, we're going to be using mushrooms, shiitake mushrooms. All right. Well, when we're in it, we're going to take a quick break. And when we come back, we're going to watch him create Bacon out of mushrooms. And I'm completely in disbelief. I will see. I we'll will see how it tastes. Yeah, we'll see. As a connoisseur, we will see. I respect you, but let me see. Yeah, all right. I, we'll I be have right a very back. particular palate. You know. <laughs> I do too. It's a very Mexican palate. <laughs> hey. Pecoles and stuff. You know. <laughs>